hello it's Judith and you're welcome back once again so guys I noticed you guys enjoy the story time in my previous video and here is another story time stroke talking video I don't know what if I want to call it so here's another story time why do my clients makeup first of all when I started doing this makeup I wasn't in the mood I wasn't in a good mood I didn't even want to record this I just wanted to do her makeup and let her go because the clients I had before her kept me for four whole hours four hours guys without even being remorseful or even calling to tell me what was keeping her or whatever I was the one that kept doing the calling her appointment was supposed to be for, for 12 p.m. and she casually showed up by 4 p.m. 12 p.m. 4 p.m. four whole hours so by the time she showed up I was already very pissed off and angry but then I was you know in my semi good girl mode if not I would have charged her extra for keeping me or I wouldn't I wouldn't even do her makeup anymore because we've already passed her appointment time and you know time is a vibe killer lateness is a vibe killer sorry once you come late already already hyped off for doing this makeup like you want to like do this makeup you want to slay you have something in mind you want to do you know things like that but once this client's really late it's killing your vibe already and there is this thing in nigeria right now it's a pandemic in this our makeup industry keeping to time i think hairstylists experience it too sometimes but it's not as bad as makeup artists because sometimes they even keep to time with the hairstylists and when it comes to you the makeup artist's time to do the makeup they want you to still where they are late already and they still want to meet up with the appointment maybe they want you to do their makeup for 20 minutes and it's not even funny it's not funny at all already this client that is coming late is interrupting your other appointment because this person kept me for four hours trust me i'm really really calm i was calm when she came in even though i was really pissed off but i was calm because this person kept you for four hours i was supposed to do something earlier i was supposed to do something after but i just sat there and i was waiting for her it's really not funny because it just doesn't help the makeup artist and i know we experience this thing a lot you are not alone i know sometimes you feel like oh why is my client not keep to time or why are my clients not keeping to time am i the problem or am i not strict enough is my business not professional enough am i not professional enough don't i have a standing or a respectful policy no you are not alone it's everywhere like i said earlier it's a pandemic we are just so used to this african time thing in nigeria that we don't even have regards for time we don't have respect for other people's time you are not alone so this brings me back to a story something that happened in december to say the truth i'm not even proud of how i handled this because of course i am human those clients booked me for an appointment for two days two days guys and when it was time for a day before appointment i sent her a date and it was december the rush hour so when it gets to december i don't do the whole good girl thing you come late for your appointment I charge you extra or if you come extra late your appointment is cancelled because i have other people to attend to like there are people in line waiting to get their makeup done you know it's december and december in nigeria is always very hot people are going for wedding owambe and the rest of the rest of them so you don't just come keep people waiting by the way this younger beauty concealer is the bomb guys this concealer is a must have in your kit if you don't have it guys go get this concealer look at the undertone look how it's blending into the skin like butter make sure you add this concealer into your kit it's very nice highly recommended so this client booked me for two different appointments she actually booked for her auntie and a day before the appointment i reminded her okay um this is a reminder i have this composed message already this is a reminder that you have an appointment with cute beauty bar so so time this so so address please keep to your appointment time as lateness for your appointment 15 minutes late into your appointment attracts an extra fee of 20, 50% here. That's how it's written. And um, 30 minutes late into your appointment, your appointment is automatically cancelled. Then she said, okay, that she's going to keep to her appointment. And the next day, which is appointment date, I still called her and I texted. I told her about keeping to time and the rest of them because I, have, I still have other clients to attend. So I actually had like a home service. And she actually called me like an hour before her appointment time that she wants to move her appointment up front that she's running a bit late i said okay fine no problem which was very inconveniencing for me but 
you know i just wanted to be like okay let me let me be nice i said okay no problem and one hour later she didn't come two hours later she didn't come she didn't call like two hours 30 minutes after her appointment i told her oh i'm already i've already left for my um other appointment and she was really angry and pissed off i was even asking for a refund i told her i already sent you the policy and the rest of them and i can make a refund to you so the next her other appointment she just texted her her auntie said that she won't be comfortable doing the makeup with me anymore so she who booked the appointment with me is going to then do the makeup i said no problem so that was how i went for a job that morning her other her own appointment was supposed to be by 12. so i went for a job very early in the morning outside town but still in enugu so i came back i was rushing back early to come do her makeup which actually cost me like extra twenty thousand naira because of the cabman i just booked to bring me back and i had other people there want that wanted to get their makeup done but i told them no i have an appointment in town only for me to get back and she's one hour later i was calling her i can't where are you where are that for the second time where are you you're already late one hour late for your appointment she was like oh I'm not going to get makeup done today again. I'm going to get it done um next week or so. Like not sure, but I think she said she's going to let me know when she's going to get the makeup done. And that was when I lost it. Trust me guys, I'm not I'm really very calm when dealing with my clients and being professional, but I was really pissed off. Of course I'm human and I make mistakes sometimes like when I shared in my video, one of my videos, I'm going to leave the link in the description box of this video, how to deal with difficult clients. I really talked about, I explained in details how to deal with clients like this. But guys, I was so calm talking to her and trying to tell her that I can't do her makeup if she doesn't come for her makeup that day, that the appointment is automatically cancelled. And of course, she, she didn't even pay me complete. I think she booked 50%. So she was still even supposed to balance me. I lost money because of her. I already turned down clients, other clients for that same time and that same date. But she said she wants to move her appointment without even telling me off from making me to lose money. Okay, making me to lose money and still lose extra money I paid for cab to just get me to town to do her appointment, to do her own makeup. So we argued and argued and argued and I kind of blocked her. Not right. The way I responded, I would have done better, but... I just let my emotions, you know, get the best of me, even though she was the one I fought. So I let the emotion get the best of me. So guys, you see this timing thing? It's not really you that is the problem because I have people who look up to me and sometimes they call me and tell me, oh, Judith, how do I deal with clients who don't keep to time? Like, am I the one at fault? Am I not being professional enough? Don't I have like... A respectable policy or don't they respect my brand and i tell them no this is not your fault this is not even a you problem this is a general problem with clients i don't i feel like maybe they don't read to makeup artists i'm not trying to generalize but 90 percent of the time they don't keep to time even though i still have clients who really keep to time respect my business and when they are running late they call and let me know they are running late and something very important is even keeping them from meeting up to the appointment time so it's not a you problem because sometimes initially i used to feel like maybe it's a me problem they don't respect me or i'm not professional or maybe you know like we say see finish but it's not you can't generalize that i see finish because some of these clients have not met you before but it's just a general pro problem with most clients here in nigeria they don't just keep to time. Sometimes they meet up for the appointment with the hairstylist and, you know, meet up with the appointment to try their clothes on. But when it gets to the makeup artist, they don't just keep the time. And when it gets to you, they expect you to be a magician and get their makeup done in 20 minutes. And some of them still want content. They want a transition video. They want a, a reel for Instagram. They want a TikTok video. And they expect you to get all that done done in like 20 minutes guys i've been doing my brows after skin work and after i shadowed lately and i'm loving it i initially i do first i usually do my brows before skin work and next i start doing my brows after skin work but now i do it after the eyeshadow and it's 
has really been working for me one it's very easy and secondly it helps me save products because when defining it i don't pack concealers i just take very little and it saves me a lot of products it saves me a lot of time and it turns out really nice so i'm just basically blending the hairline with a darker shade like her, her contour shade because I was tying the um, hairline was tied with a band when I was doing the makeup just to help the front out to stay perfectly well. So that's what I'm doing basically. This makeup is giving, remember to always blend with a beauty sponge so it seals that in. This makeup is giving what it should give. My clients really loved her makeup even though, you know, and by the way she was tearing. But we, we controlled it. We controlled it. I always do control it. So guys back to the story hope she enjoyed our session and she said she's going to come back again but i told her when coming back again please keep the time even though she's a first time client and it was her birthday i think it's because of her birthday that's why i was calm because i don't want to be a vibe killer i don't want to even though i was she already got me angry i didn't want to you know two wrongs cannot make it right you get so i didn't want to just spoil her day i still wanted her to enjoy her day because it might not be intentional for her not keeping time might not be intentional so i'm still trying to be nice it's not a you problem trust me it's not a you problem it's just a general thing with you know clients they don't they don't just i don't know what to say but trust me it's just general it's just i've been dealing with it but what i do recently and i'll advise you do to help control or help manage your time you have a policy that says if they come late for a particular period of time they pay extra and if they come late for a particular period of time they pay like maybe their appointments automatically cancelled you know which works better for you so just get a policy, send it to them before they make bookings and make sure you collect money for bookings. Let them book you. Let, don't let them book you with their mouth. Let them book you with money. So you have something to hold on to. You don't want to save a date and at the end of the day, they just waste it. Maybe they tell you, oh, I'm so sorry. I can't come. I got caught up. You wouldn't know that someone else is already doing their makeup, but you will just be there. And maybe someone else already texted you and you tell the person you're not available of course there are you can make exception for some clients i have clients i make exceptions for they can tell me i want to get my makeup done next week so so time i don't even need to tell them to book or anything they can of course they keep to the time they will come those are clients i know that you know they are my clients and they don't disappoint me so guys just learn how to you know manage manage it because there's nothing absolutely nothing you can do about it just learn how to manage and control it because you can't stop it 100 percent. so just learn how to control it i believe with these few points of mine and this story you know that you are not the problem so guys i'm loving this makeup and you know this um so prosely spray my favorite spray to seal the makeup together and make it last very long for the client because it's her birthday she's going to be partying she's going to be vibing she's going to be dancing so you know she her makeup has to be intact so i'm just basically using my wing beauty mascara to in increase the volume of her lower lashes and guys this is the makeup it's giving what it should give and more and at this we've come to the end of this video let me know if you enjoyed this video let me know if you enjoyed this story and those little words of encouragement and subscribe to my channel if you're yet to subscribe give it a very big thumbs up if you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section what you love most about this video the tutorials or the story and if you really enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in my next one bye